Congratulations, your learner got their probationary license. Helping them with the vehicle choice is incredibly important for new drivers. A recent study found over 60% of young drivers' deaths or injuries could have been prevented if the driver had a safer car. Some of these cars that these kids drive, they're, they're just not safe. We said we'd chip in on her first car, so long as it was safe. She just drove the family cars for a little while until she'd saved up enough. Well, now she's settled on a little used Toyota Yaris. She loves it. Vic Rhodes has a list of the safest and most affordable used cars for young drivers. It's called the First Car List, and it's a handy reference guide when you're shopping around for a second-hand vehicle. You can download the list at vicroads.vic .gov.au Probationary drivers are prohibited from driving high-powered vehicles simply because they don't have the on-road experience. These V8s and turbos, they've got more power than the kids know what to do with. They're just not ready for the extra grunt. I mean, sure, some kids and their parents think they'll be all right, but why risk it? Here are some easy rules to remember. No V8 engines, no turbocharged or supercharged petrol engines, and no modifications to increase performance while on a probationary license. Probationary drivers also can't drive some V6 vehicles which are listed on the Vic Roads website. Don't take the responsibility lightly. When you think about it, a car is the most powerful piece of machinery that most people will ever operate in their lives. We need to help our children learn how to use that machinery safely. It's as simple as that. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. First, some situations are more dangerous for P-plate drivers. These include driving after drinking or taking drugs, driving with multiple passengers or distractions such as mobile phones and loud music, and driving at night or when tired. Parents should help limit exposure to these situations where they can. Yeah, I remember what it's like when you're young and you've just got your license. You do some stupid things. I mean, Tim's got a good head on his shoulders, but still, you need some ground rules. So, you know, we won't let him take the car if he's planning a late one, especially if there's alcohol involved. A P-plate driver is four times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash when carrying two or more passengers. Those passengers are often friends. So drivers on red P-plates are only allowed to carry one peer passenger aged 16 to less than 22. Parents need to be aware of this rule and enforce it. You hear those car crashes with, you know, whole groups of friends. They're all young, got their whole lives ahead of them. Yeah, I worry when she's out driving or even when she's getting a lift with a friend. No, oh, we're fine. I was so glad that she was only allowed to drive with one friend in the car in that first year. She's such a warrior. You know, in a way it was good for me too because it gave me an excuse to say, sorry, I can't drive you home. You know, I'm not a taxi service. Lou doesn't have a license yet, but we've talked about it. I've said that I'd pay for a taxi if she wants to go out with her friends on a Saturday night and they can't afford it, or if she doesn't feel safe with one of her friends driving. They already stay at each other's houses when they have parties, so it's not like it's a big change. I always encourage Jackie to make sure she's got a ride home before she goes out. I've picked her up occasionally from after she and her girlfriends have had a night on the town. It's a bit of an inconvenience, but it saves me and the other parents staying up all night worrying. It would be a shame to waste all the hard work you put in during the learning to drive process. So just keep in mind, P-play drivers can only accumulate five demerit points in a 12 month period, with a maximum of 12 demerit points in a three year period. If a probationary driver does the wrong thing, their license may be suspended and their probationary period may be extended. It really pays to stick to the rules. Vic Roads has a range of resources to help parents during the learning to drive process, including Road to Solo Driving, the Learner Kit, the Guide for Supervising Drivers, the L Site, and the Probationary Kit, given to new drivers when they receive their probationary license. Stay calm, and we might not be the most amazing drivers ever, but there's no need to bite our heads off every time we make a mistake. Final advice. Yeah, make sure they do their logbook right. They see it as a hassle sometimes, but you watch them fill it out at the end of each trip, and it's done. It's all written down in case you forget. 
It only takes a few minutes. You put it in the glove box and that's it. Parents need to be aware of what their role is. As a supervising driver, it's your role to provide support, give feedback, stay calm, and form a partnership with the learner. It is okay to give clear, concise instructions, or even pull over, especially if you feel unsafe or feel that the road conditions have changed and exceed your learner's driving abilities. That's my final message to parents. Remember these key points. P-plate drivers must have zero blood alcohol and shouldn't drive on drugs or while using mobile phones. Everyone in the car must wear a seatbelt. Probationary drivers on red P-plates must only carry one peer passenger. And all P-platers should limit the number of passengers in the car and avoid late night driving. They also can't drive high powered vehicles and can only accumulate five demerit points in 12 months.